Hi guys, uh, how are you guys doing? First of all, um, I want to ask everyone how their week's been so far. I know it's only a few days in, but hopefully it's not too bad. Um, but mainly what I wanted to do is a lot of you have been asking a lot of questions and I thought maybe it's time for another Q&A because the last time I did a Q&A I was at like 8,000 followers. So <laughs> it's been a huge dramatic jump from the amount of followers I had so I thought, you know what, why not do a Q&A? If you guys have any questions feel free to put them in the comments, do whatever. Um, but yeah, so feel free to ask away, but, uh, I'm just going to go over some of the, uh, little bit of questions you guys have been asking. It's more of like simple questions, like, um, oh, thank you. Um, sorry, I got like something on my teeth. Mm, much better. Um, but like little things like how old am I? Um, I'm 20. Um, I live in the U.S., in Wyoming, in the middle of nowhere. Um, favorite Halo is gonna be CE, um, but just because it's freaking amazing, I love the story. Um, least favorite, obviously Halo 5. Um, yeah, I tried to do my makeup like that ODST chick so I could see how closely I could look like her. Um, do I like punk rock? I'm not really for like punk rock. I do like like 90s and 2000s rock, you know, probably like Rise Against, um, uh, Sum 41, Breaking Benjamin. Um, favorite custom game from Saturday? Um, it would either have to be Avalanche or Speed Halo. Speed Halo is just like so much fun. I love Avalanche too. Um, I don't understand what you're talking about, Kylo. Um, and you can join, It's the custom games are completely um, open and you can join. Um, do I like Destiny? No, I do not like Destiny because I feel like it's a complete rip off of your money. I'm gonna be completely honest. Uh, I think it's just a grind game and it's a pay to win also and I just don't like it and I feel like Bungie fell really really hard when they left Halo and I know they did it for a good reason but I f do not like Bungie. I mean, not Bungie, I do not like Destiny. I love Bungie a little bit but I'm still pissed that they left. Sorry, I have to go back up. Um, What's my words on George? I love George. When he died, he was like, he he hit hardest when he died. Like, right there. Like, I loved George so much. I probably loved him more than any other character in, out of all of the Noble Team. And then that goes into favorite member of the Noble Team, George. He's awesome. Um, yeah, and then, you know, oh, you don't have an Xbox? We'll get an Xbox. <laughs> Do you think Halo Infinite will bring the series back? Absolutely. Um, if they if they have the multiplayer, like Halo 5, and have the story, like Halo 4, they will bring it back. Like, 125%. Not even worried about it. Um, do I like RTS games with, like, like Combat and Conquer? Yeah, so, um, I do play a lot of, like, Halo Wars. I do play Halo Wars. That's kind of more of, like, a real-time, yeah, like, it's, it's real-time strategy, so it's an RTS. Um, I do like that. I've been getting into them a lot more lately. I'm starting to get into Warhammer. <gasps> Warhammer 40k. Not Warhammer, just Warhammer 40k. Um, so yes, I love those types of games. I also like survival games, like, it's, there's a game called like We Are Billions or something, and it's so good. Um, hell yeah, Breaking Benjamin. Yeah, Breaking Benjamin. Hell yeah. Oh gosh, I just messed up the camera. I'm trying to be able to read all your guys' comments. Okay, I don't want to text. Thank you. <laughs> My phone's flipping out. Um, do I like the lighting? Do Do you think the light on Halo Helmet on fire? 
uh, what? Sorry, I can't see because my shirt's white and I'm seeing text white. This is a bad planning idea. Do you think lightning on a halo helmet on fire to get the halo reach flame effect? I plan on wearing... Ooh! That's interesting. Message me about that after. That'd be cool. Um, hey, yeah, Halo Wars. I love Halo Wars. Um, it's awesome. I just got it. I actually just got into Halo Wars, and um, I was like, Ugh, Halo Wars. It's not the main Halo. And everyone's like, You just, just gotta play it. And I played it, and I've been grinding on it for days, just going ham because I love. I just, I don't know. I. I'm not gonna brag, but for being a noob and never really played anything like it before, I feel like I'm pretty good. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, you're, same too. I'm getting sick of Bungie. They've just went downhill and they just sold out and I'm not okay with it. Um, do you prefer the OG art style or the new? Um, it's it's a toss up, honestly. Like you, you gotta love the OG. It's such so beautifully done, especially Halo Reach. Just it was amazing. It's so good. But the new art style, a lot of people say it's cartoony. It's not. It's realistic. What do you want? Like it's yes, it is a little bit brighter, but it's because of the armor customization. You can have bright colors. They don't just have like if you pick orange, it's not going to give you like a burnt sienna. It's going to give you orange. So yes, it looks cartoony because you can put all these crazy colors all over you. But I feel like it's really realistic. And so I like both of them. Um, everyone's laughing at me. Okay. Uh, Spartan 3 or Spartan 2 armor? Ooh. Oh. Mm. That's definitely Spartan 2. Like, yes, there are some, some good Spartan 3 armors. But they can suck my ass because they suck compared to Spartan 2. <laughs> Let's just get that straight. Um, what's my opinion on Halo Infinite? I'm so psyched for Halo Infinite. Holy crap, I'm like, ow! I'm flipping, I'm, literally guys, don't, don't expect me to reply to anything, I'm sorry, when Halo Infinite comes out. Like, I might not even post that much, I might just stream the entire day, like, from morning to night, and then just upload the stream. Because that's how it's going to pretty much be. I'm going to be living on Halo Infinite when it comes out. Just so you guys know. I might have to, like, get someone to post for me. Um, so, yes. I am loving Halo Infinite. I love everything they're doing. With it. It's it's kind of got that Halo Reach feel with all, like, the animals and everything. And how it's a it seems a little bit more, like, worldly versus just tech. So, I like it. Um... Oh, gosh. Do you think Cortana will die in Halo Infinite? <sighs> it's kind of a toss-up. I'm not sure. I really, honestly, I really, really, really hope that she gets captured. Because if you look at the chip, it's a weaponized chip that's supposed to, for, like, it's, it's not... Full. Thank you. I can't think today. It's not full of an AI. So there's no AI in it. And in the um, original trailer, you see that there's an AI in the end. So, but then the newer trailer, there isn't an AI in it. And you can even read into it. Um, so I'm thinking that she gets captured and she gets captured into this weaponized ship and they're trying to like reprogram her or something. I don't know. I, I, I kind of hope she does it because that ship already sailed with Halo 4. I feel like if they try to kill her off again, it wouldn't be good. I don't know. It's just, it wouldn't be the same because they already tried. They wouldn't be able to do it again. That just, it's not how it works. Um, favorite, uh, Arbiter, if you like the Arbiter. I do like the Arbiter. He's not my favorite character. Everyone's like, oh my gosh, the Arbiter. Um, but... Yeah, like, my favorite Arbiter is from, like, Halo Legends, because the, gosh, I got some in my eye, just the badassery of him just taking down that entire army got me. But not only that, but his, the story, and you see the love for he had for his wife, and, like, that whole hardship that he had to go through. Um, and it really shows you the true nature of the Covenant and the Prophets. And I just really like his backstory. And so, I know that sounds like really, like a cheap answer, because who doesn't like 
the one from Halo Legends, and but I don't know. That's my answer. Um, you want to try to beat me in Halo Wars two again? Yeah, no, fuck you. <laughs> No, I draw. I I can't beat you. You've had more uh, more training than I. I'll come back in a few weeks when I'm better. Um, yeah. Um, what's my opinion? Oh gosh, I'm not typing again. Thank you. Um, I like what I did with my hair. Kind of looks like you're going to a movie premiere. Well, thank you. It's like really like fluffy right now. It's like super like soft, like I don't know. It's like silky and fluffy. I don't know, but whatever. <laughs> Thank you. Um, what what is my favorite Halo? Which one do I like the most? As I, again, um, again, bleh, as I said, CE, totally, by far my favorite story. Um, the most emotional story for me though was Halo Four. It really hit hard, and I feel like the it was just a beautiful story. Like they. It was immaculate. Oh my gosh. I, Halo's 4 story was amazing. But I do have to go with Halo C just because of the diversity and the suspense. And every little aspect of it was just beautiful. So both of those are dear stories smart. I mean, all of them are good. Except for Halo 5. <laughs> let's just forget about that. But yeah. Um, let's keep going down. Oh my gosh. Stop typing. Um... Yes, I have an Xbox One. You made a George cosplay. Awesome! Hell yeah. Do I prefer OG Halo music or new? OG Halo music. You can't beat it. Um, Halo 4's music was a nice transition because they it was coming into more of like a techie feeling, like a techie era for Halo. And they really matched the music quite well to that. And so... I liked it, but you can't... The OG Halo music. OG Halo music all the way. Like, oh my gosh. It's... I used to fall asleep to that stuff every single night. I still do sometimes if I can't sleep. So, yes. Um, Sarah Palmer. Do I like her? No. Absolutely not. She is a cunt. Like, the most raging cunt on the face of the earth. I hate her. Like, bitch, don't talk back to Master Chief. He will... Hell no, nah. dude. She's and what she did to Halsey, seriously. Like she was trying to help, and she fucked everything up. She could suck my dick. I hate her. I do not like Palmer. She needs to calm her attitude down. She thinks she's good and she's not. Okay, but sorry, I do not like her. But it's it's like a a good thing though because she she's meant to be not really liked. She's meant to be like spiteful and her character herself is meant to just be kind of like this angry little girl pretty much um and they needed some of that they needed those characters that you did not like because after you know the prophets died and everything halo 4 um really needed that thing where you're just like oh i hate this person and there it is um have I done all the easter eggs in Halo Reach? I've done some of them. I don't think I've done all of them, though. Um, so if you have any suggestions on, like, I don't know, not suggestions, but if you, like, want to name all of them, I can, like, say which ones I've done and which ones I haven't. Which weapon do I, um, like to use in Halo? Um, either, so Halo 5 and Halo 4. No, actually, Halo 5, it was, it's pistol. Halo 4, um, battle rifle. Halo Reach, DMR. And, um, Halo 3, pistol. Halo 2, SMG. And then Halo 1, pistol. It's pretty simple. The only reason I don't use pistol in Halo 2 is because we all know Halo 2's pistol kind of sucks. Um... Do you think Cortana has a true logic plague, and do you think the Grey Mind should come back? Bungie left that spot open for him. Yeah, so, honestly, yes, I truly believe she is not only corrupted by the logic plague, but because of the fact that she is so corrupted by that plague, the Forerunner technology that was left by the Diadact 
is kind of trying to carry on his agenda and because she was already so messed up in the brain it was so easy to manipulate her into believing that as well so it's not i believe it's not only just the logic play i feel like that's a large a large part of it but i feel like it's also part of the didax doing so we'll see though we'll honestly see hopefully that unravels a little bit more um are we talking about halo infinite i have talked about halo infinite but if you have any specific questions let me know yeah george is awesome favorite ai mendicant bias thank you for asking oh my goodness his story is so good okay if you guys don't like mendicant bias and you're like oh well he ended up killing everyone i don't care he's still an amazing character oh my gosh and with the like offensive bias that whole entire it's like oh i sorry i just love it i love it so much mendicant bias is amazing his story it's so sad and tragic but at the same time it's so good i love i love that deep lore oh my gosh especially when it's tragic like that love it um oh yeah <laughs> i call him half shot he's awesome i think he's such a badass shipmaster. he's was one of my favorite characters honestly i like him more than the arbiter just gonna say <laughs> I'm gonna get so much hate mail for that but I love him more than the Arbitrary because he's just like suck my dick and I'm like yeah <laughs> this is hilarious but he's, he's amazing he's just is such a badass um uh what is your weapon that you like to use I already answered that um stop typing okay um, you got your chef hat yet? No, I haven't got my chef hat. I need to get it because I want and I want to like do something to make it look Halo-ish because I've been cooking a lot more lately and it's actually getting really good and like I want to eat food more because it's so delicious. So hopefully I can help you guys learn how to cook some badass recipes. Um, yeah, Halo 4's ending just oh so good but so sad um yeah do you think the flood will return an infinite honestly i it's kind of a toss-up but with way the way that they're trying to bring the community back together i don't see them not bringing them back there's in some way or form they have to bring back the flood because it's <laughs> The thing is, with the Flood, it's more of like a constant battle. It's a reminder of humanities and the Forerunner's sins. And those can never be truly washed away. And I feel like it's more going to be more of like, it's it's more of a symbolism um, of, the, like, the Flood's, a, yes, it's, a, it's an army of undead creepy creatures, but it's a symbolism of their sins. And I think they have to come back in some way, shape, or form. It's just part of the game, and it's part of the lore and the whole theories, and I don't know, it's like hard to explain, but it's just, you can't take that away. I can get, I can get more into that later in more like a, a video or something if you guys want to hear more about that. Um, do I play an instrument? Yes. I play uh, the piano, the guitar, clarinet, bass clarinet. Um, I've played, I've played the violin, but it's more like fiddle, like country music. That was, yeah, it's like so much fun. Um, and then I played a little bit of the banjo. Oh, and saxophone. So I have played those, but my main instrument was clarinet. And like, that's what I played in high school. Um, opinion, um, what is your opinion on some of the Halo characters? used to promote another game um I hmm it's like are you talking about how like like Linda and Fred were trying to I don't know but I feel like if you're talking about Halo 5 and them using the other um oh are you talking about Oh, I know what you're talking about. You're talking about um, Gears of War 5. Honestly, I feel like it's kind of like a cheap shot to add Halo characters into a game that uh, a lot of people ended up not liking the story because they just wanted to get more publicity. 
But, you know, it's a good tactic. I'm not going to lie. It's a good tactic. They they did well. I started playing Gears of War 5 because of the fact that there's, you know, Cat and Emil in it. Um, even though I'm not a huge fan of Cat, but yeah, so it's it's kind of like a toss up for me. It's like, oh cool, they did a great job, but also meh. Um so Noah Palmer sucks. <laughs> I hate her. <laughs> um yeah, um, let me try to find some more questions. Yeah. Uh, man, a lot of this is more just comments than questions. You like the features of Cortana Halo 4? Yes, I like the features in Cortana and Halo 4. I didn't like how she had, like, this huge gap between her teeth. I'm like, what, what was that about? Um... Also, she kind of had, like, a butter face. Yes, her body was nice, but can we just talk about Halo 2? Halo 2's remaster Cortana is an absolute masterpiece. She is everything... She's everything I would ever want in a woman. She's just curvaceous. Her face, her jawline, her lips. I'm like, ah! So beautiful. Oh my goodness. She is... A work of art. Okay. Halo 2. By far. Halo 2's remaster Cortana. <sighs> Gorgeous. Um, favorite Halo book. Fall of Reach. It's the first one I read. And it just still sticks with me because of how badass Master Chief is in it. And it just, I'm total Master Chief fangirl. And seeing him be such a badass is just like, <gasps> so awesome. It just gets me riled up. I'm just like, yeah, it's so badass. Um... Sorry, I keep typing. Um, do I like the flood? Yes, I think the flood is a great addition to the game. It added so much more dynamic and just deep. It made it a a horror game without being a horror game. Like that is really cool. Like how they add that aspect into it. So I love the flood. I love everything about it. I love this. Um, Everything that comes with, you know, the flood lore, how they came to be. Absolutely. I love the metaphor that they are. It's just amazing. Do you hope that the flood comes back? Do you think that Halo Infinite will feature Installation 07 and um, have the darkness that's in the lore? You know, I'm really thinking that they're going to start bringing out the lore. Because with Halo 4 and 5, yes, Halo 5 stories sucked, but they did they did add a lot more lore into it. And what I think is with Halo 5 was kind of a lead up into Halo Infinite with being Cortana as the t final test of the mantle of responsibility for the humans. Sorry, I got like this hair on my nose right here and it's bothering the shit out of me. Um, I feel like Cortana um, is the final test for the humans. It's if they are able to figure, I'm not sure how she is a test, if I guess they conquer her or whatever, or able to destroy her or beat her and not die, I feel like she is the final test because that's what they were talking, they, they started mentioning a lot about the mantle in Halo 5 and Halo 4. Um, even more so in Halo 5, and I truly think that she is the last test because they don't technically have it yet, but they said they had to have a test to be able to get it. So that's my personal opinion, but yeah. Um, let's see. Hello, hello, sorry, um, what character do you want to come back? Wait, what character do you want me to come back? I don't know. I'm just going to say that is saying what character do you want to come to have like come back in the next game. It would be so cool to have um Mendicant Bias come back. Oh, please let Mendicant Bias come back. Oh my gosh. Either Mendicant Bias or um I would really like to see what was it? I, I just thought of it, and now it's just, meh. Um, 
Noble Six. That would be an interesting twist. I know that it's like pretty much completely shut down. Everything about the idea is shut down. But it would just be like, oh yeah, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Um, yeah, no, I cried like a baby at the end of four. Oh, it was so bad. So I'm guessing you haven't seen Awakening Mara. No, um, I, I actually have seen it, but the thing is, Halo Wars is, I'm not sure what their, like, true relationship is with, the, like, the actual Halo games, and honestly, I'm not quite sure if, like, it actually, the Flood will actually come back in a full-blown scale. Because it could have just been there, and they contained it, or if it was just meant for that game to kind of get people to play that game more. Uh, but I don't know. I know that the flood will come back because, again, it's the metaphor of them not be. They can't run away from their sins, and they can't run away from the flood. That's just how it is. Um... I really want him to go with a bang, either in Halo Infinite or Halo 7, because I think that they need to... Yeah, um, the Shipmaster, I feel like, definitely needs to go out with, like, a, just a badass thing. Just like how Sergeant Johnson did. They just, they just need a good ending for, um, his, you know, story. Um, which character do you want to return to the Halo universe? Um, I already, I just answered that. Um... Are you going to be playing Halo on PC? Honestly, I just got a PC to set up. Well, I, using my husband's, he's letting me use it like a little sweetheart. Um, and honestly, I'm kind of worried because it's going to be a huge learning curve for me to be able to learn how to play it on PC. So we'll see. If I don't get too frustrated with it, I probably will play it on PC, but I'll still play it on Xbox. But if I get frustrated with it... I'm playing on Xbox, sorry guys. <laughs> yeah. Um Yeah. Um which was which grunt was the best grunt? Um Halo Wars don't count because they suicide. Okay. Um honestly I can't I don't have like a specific grunt that I'm just like, oh yeah, like I don't know. I can't, I can't really answer that. I've never really had, like, a favorite grunt. I mean, yep, 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 yep's cool, but that's Halo Wars too. so I don't know. I don't know. Don't ask me that. <laughs> um, I think CD Flight was the best. Yeah, it's same. It was just such a creepy tone and atmosphere, like, just like you said. It just really set that mood for the game that it's a first person shooter but it's not a horror game it's a more intriguing like mind bending game but it's still creepy as hell I love it um do I like Star Wars yes I do love Star Wars um I have two like statues of um a st clone trooper and a no oh, sorry a stormtrooper and a and Darth Vader that comes up to here about, yeah, about right there, and, um, I have, like, an original box set of the VHS that's unopened, I have a bunch of pops of that, I just, you can't see it because of all my other stuff, and it's mainly packed away, but yes, I do like, uh, Star Wars a lot. Um, yeah, it'd be nice, uh, if the Brutes came back, so that'd be cool. Um, I'm hoping to see Ancient, yeah, that'd be cool to see Ancient, um, Humans, on um, Zeta Halo, that'd be awesome. Well, and I really, I really want to see the precursors. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna go on a huge rant right now, really quick. Um, so the domain made by the precursors, it is an artificial like network because that's what no, not artificial. Sorry, it's not artificial. <laughs> it's they used neural physics to make it like an actual physical, um, you know, like what is it, what would I call it? I don't know. It's like actual, like, or, oh, they're organic. It's an actual organic substance. It's not just, like, technology and something. So, 
but it got destroyed with the halo rings. So when you hear the didact and you know he like hints through Halo 5 talking about the domain and the librarian talking about the domain, you're like, wait, what? Hmm? Hmm? But that was organic. How did that survive? Precursors, they're still alive. I don't care. I need to see precursors. Bring them back. Bring back the prime, like, information on the primordial. Bring back the precursors. I want to see them back and I want to see them be like, yeah, kill them all. Like, Oh, that'd be so cool. Or if, like, the humans teamed up with... Pre I don't know. I just want to see the Precursors so bad. There needs to be more because I eat that lore up about them. And I just want to know more. Okay? So, yeah. Um... Yeah, Master Chief is most likely to come back in the arc. Yeah, um... Sorry, I can't see because of my white shirt. Yeah, Flood is crazy. Um... Yeah, you're all go pretty much everyone's talking about P going to PC. Don't do that, guys. Um, have I ever played uh, or heard of Fatal Frame? No, I have not. Um, sorry. <laughs> That's why I really love CE because yeah, CE was amazing. Um, yeah, no, you, got, you Nick. Walker, we need to talk about Halo lore because I can see that you know and I know and we need to meet up and talk. Okay, this is awesome. Um, oh, well, thank you. Thank you, Blackstone. Hey, oh my gosh, I think I'm finally caught up. Um, I think Halo Infinite is about after Halo 3. Um, well, the thing is, that would be cool, but it's already confirmed that it's years after Halo 5. Like, years. And I can't remember how many. I think it was, like, seven years after Halo 5. I don't know. But it's a, it's a large amount of time, more than any other game that's been between, like, Halo games. So it's a big chunk of time. So that would be, like, a really cool game to have. But sadly, it's not. It's going to be set more into the future. Um... Um, I don't know, because last time I saw, when I, when I was watching the, um, the trailer, it said, like, if you look at the years, um, that it said, like, on the actual, uh, what was it? It was on, I think it was on his actual pop-up screen, because not only did Halsey make his armor... He, they made, she made his armor about, t I think, two years after Halo 5. And then it was another few years that she updated it and added stuff into it. I'll have to rewatch um, the drop screen, because when his armor's loading up, you see a bunch of information, and you can kind of pause it and, like, decrypt it and stuff like that. Um, Fatal Flames is, like, Silent Hill, but scarier. I'll have to check that out. Um, have I finished Halo Wars 2 story? I have not, actually. I have not finished Halo Wars 2 story. I just started playing it, so I'm kind of going through that right now. Um, last question. Do you think, which, what, what is a better, uh, brute leader? Tartarus or Atriox? <sighs> That's hard. I think I'm, ooh, I, Atriox? I feel like I'm gonna get a little hate mail for that. I, honestly, both of them are good, but Atriox I'm gonna have to go with. Um, branch of Mars thing is most like. What branch of armed forces do you think is most like ODSTs? Um, you're awesome, by the way. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, I would say, like, the Marines or like that or like the Navy SEALs. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I would just say that either of those two branches are like closest to me, like, in. Civilian viewing wise to me, that's what I feel like, but I don't know because I'm not currently in the military and I have grandpas that are in the military, but they never really talked about it. Um, uh, well, during Halo 3 Arbor, there was one uh, came out soon and no cheat and his corpse. What? Sorry, I don't understand what you're saying. Um, I haven't finished Halo Wars 2 either, but I'm gonna go check it out. Okay, yeah. I, I need to check it out, too. Um, you're slow in space, but pilot found him. 
Yeah. Yeah. Um, sorry, I was just reading that. Um, be sure to play the Flood DLC story. Yeah, I need to. I really need to. But, um, yeah, do you guys have any? I'm gonna only take probably about ten more questions. Uh, do you guys have any just quick little questions that you have? Just, like, anything? I don't know. People like to ask me stuff, and I thought I might as well do a Q&A. And thank you. Um, but, yeah. So, I'm... <sighs> So yeah, we went over basically all the Halo stuff. Um, I said that, yeah, I was 20. I live in Wyoming. Um, are you, I'm, I'm, am I going to play Outlast again? I am. I just, I hate, I hate scary games because I get so freaking scared from it. I'm just like, it just, it hurts my soul every single time and it gives me anxiety. And so I, I've been pushing it off. But... Yes, I, I will play Outlast sometime soon. Um, yeah, and then... Yeah, so, um... New Cortana AI for Halo Infinite. You know, I'm honestly thinking that, like, what they do is they're gonna capture her, and then they're going to, like, reprogram her with, you know, a new, um, brain fragment. Because you know how they use, like, brain samples from Halsey and she has I think like seven I think um but she went through a few so I think she might use that on her and try to like help her self like I don't know self heal herself I don't know um Halo she has is great do some top 10 Halo list okay yeah, I'm dumb to do that. Um, I hope the flood will be back in Halo Infinite. Yeah. What don't you want to see in Halo Infinite? I don't want to see Locke. If I can, if I never see Locke again, I will be the happiest person on the face of the earth. I thought he was just an underwhelming, sad excuse for a character. They're like, oh, he's badass, he's macho. Yeah, that's not a character. He's like, everyone can pretend to be badass. Give me, like, a reason to either love him or hate him. Like, give me some care, something to hold on to. Like, with Palmer, I at least don't like her. But she's a character. Like, I like her more than I like Locke because there's something there. There's some, there's some type of tangible feeling. You know, unlike Locke where you're just like, I don't understand your character. What are you, what are you going for? You're going for, like, this typical, like, oh, I'm a badass. No, stop. Um, play Outlast. I know I finished the fight. I know. I need to play Outlast. Um, thank you. I appreciate it, Kawhi. Um, Halo Infinite. Um, have you done any Halo Room tours yet? Yes, I have done a Halo Room tour. It's very just, like, kind of just sporadic and running around but it does have the majority of my stuff I have gotten a few things since then like I've gotten a, a new Halo Pop I've gotten um, some just little keychains and I've gotten some like more Halo um, just more Halo stuff in general but it's not like too drastic so it'll basically be the, my entirety of the collection so if you want to go check that out it's on my YouTube um, Amen No Lock yeah Team No Lock let's go um, do you think Neville Six is dead or alive? Honestly, like, it's kind of confirmed that he's dead. Like, they've, they've kind of come out and said that he, there's no way. Um, Jerome is decent. Yeah. I don't know. I, you can't just replace Master Chief, though. You can't just replace Chief. I know Jerome's cool. Like, Jerome's a really big badass, but you don't just replace Chief, okay? And you, if you read any of the books with him in it, especially Fall of Reach, you know you can't just replace him. He was just, he's a whole another level of just badass. You can't, you can't. It's just, he's, he's too perfect. Um, let, oh my gosh. Oh... Well, uh, so, I, you know, it would be a really interesting twist if, um, the Arbiter, I don't know, somehow the Arbiter or something, uh, turned, I don't know, 
and a kill lock. I just want him to die. <laughs> he just used me out. Uh, make a Jedi sewer cosplay. Yeah, I've actually made a Jedi cosplay before, but that was when I was a little bit chunkier and it didn't look too good. <laughs> so I might do a new one. I really want to go as Ala Secura. That'd be really, really cool, but I need to get like the whole latex weird things. Little tentacle things. Um, so yeah, uh, you kind of like character walk? Oh, I don't really like him. Okay, one last question. What is an exciting, wait, what? What's your excitement level for the Halo TV sheet? Oh my gosh! So I'm, I'm trying not to flip out about the Halo TV show. I'm really trying not to. Because I'm afraid that it's gonna happen, like, it's gonna be like, um, Ford Under Dawn. Which sucked. I hated that. I'm like, the Master Chief acted like, like, you literally reminded me of Arnold Schwarzenegger and the Terminator. I'm just like, seriously? So cliche and cheesy. I hated it. I hated all of it. Um, I was really expecting more. But with this one, I'm really hoping, I'm, because I've, I've heard rumors about who's directing. I've heard about what's just happening, the story and everything, and I'm really hoping that they do a really good job with what they're given. Um, oh, so, hold up. Yeah, 333, yeah, 343, um, did kind of need to branch out of their own characters, but I mean, with Halo 4, they did such an amazing job with Chief, like, Oh my gosh, this is such a good job. I don't, like, if they really just continued on with that story and, like, how they were going to continue on with Spartan Ops and, like, continue on with the Halsey being the main, like, kind of bad guy, um, that would be cool. But, um, they didn't. But they did such a good job with just his movement, his body language, his, the lack of dialogue he had, but still had more emotion than I feel like any other Halo game. So... I feel like they did great. I feel like they couldn't mess they couldn't have messed up Chief if they really tried. The only problem is they tried to just put him in a closet because they were too afraid. So and that's that's how they messed up, honestly. Um Yes, Steven Stil Spielberg, I feel like is still directing. I don't wanna say for sure, but I'm pretty sure he still is. And if he is, oh my goodness, I'm so excited because it's gonna be so good. Um yeah. 400 on sucked so bad. Like, do you know they're gonna be making an ODST show on Netflix? That's gonna be cool. Hell yeah, that's gonna be badass as fuck. Um, yeah. So, that's pretty much gonna be the end of my video because it's dragging on a little long. But thank you guys for watching so much. Thank you guys for your questions. Sorry I'm a little fluster-brained right now. I feel like that's happening more and more lately. And it's probably because I got a big light shining in my face. And now I can't see because I looked into it. Oh my gosh. Um, have I beaten Halo 4 on Legendary? Yes. Um, and it's just like, ugh, it's pain in the butt. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys. Have a wonderful day. Uh, I might be streaming later, maybe, there's a small little chance, so go check that out. Go check out my YouTube, please, and go like my stuff, because you guys are awesome, and I love your support, and I love also hearing what you have to say, so, um, if you guys have any questions later on, or comments, or you want to talk Halo lore, feel free to DM me, and I can get into a mad conversation about Halo lore. So, yeah, take care. Bye-bye.